I think this week is the hardest map they've ever put a boss on. It's hashtag ouch, guys. They've done extra maps before, like Dark Castle, but ouch takes the cake. To help us out, they did give us extra starting cash and reduce the balloon speed and boss speed by half. But still, pretty tough. And I want to make it tougher by doing a least tiers, the ranked uh, boss for this week. I'm not gonna lie, I have a lot of fun with least tiers, elite bosses, that is. So I'll see if I get another easy top 50. So I'll try to aim for... I want to try to get into the double digits. Also, part of what, what makes this easier is that the boss goes on the long lane. So, frankly, this is a longer track length than Dark Castle, but you still have to worry about, you know, the normal rounds coming in. We can't do a farm start even with the increased cash, so instead, I'll do a free Dark Monkey and Gibaldo to defend. So here's the strategy as always. Save for the NFT, I think we get it like round 4 or something, round 5. Also, I'd like to inform you that yet again, Geraldo is broken in this game mode, because anything you drop from the shop doesn't count towards the tier limit. I'll start off in the, in the bottom left corner because we're kind of missing towers there. Uh, but this is huge. We can basically spam shoot to its early game, early game. That doesn't really add up to our tier limit. But this is what makes, uh, I guess, out hurt even with the increased cash. You gotta spend so much money to defend that you'll have less money overall. Because you can't snowball because you have to spend money on so many towers. First farm now. My farm placements are... are uh, if you've watched my previous, like, um, least tier runs, uh, they're gonna be specifically placed at a part where uh, it'll only be under the range of the village after I buy bigger range on it so that I can, you know, suck up the Monkeyopolis. Suck up the Monkeyopolis while these, like, farms that I'm gonna keep are not in range. So in the name of greed, this is gonna, I think, finally break my mana shield. But that's okay. We'll get two turrets up for round 15. I think I'll put it in the bottom right corner. That part's leaking a lot. Farm number two ASAP. So it'll be somewhere over here. And my village is going to be right below Geraldo. And now I need a, I, I need a turret. Or else I'm going to die here. I think this was probably a, a bad farm to greed for. Wasn't it? Ouch, 40 lives. Pun was not intended there. Uh, I got an extra shoot to this round and I'm still dead. Jeez, round 21 OP. I don't think I can take this. Let's try to beat this round with a sub in the middle. Because this can be a, um, lead popper. A cheap lead popper. And this actually builds into the sub paragon too, which I think I want to try to get up. But this is good because seeking, so we'll hopefully save all the lives here. Um, two lives? I don't think I should be playing this close. Really living on the edge here, so this is what I mean. He tip darts, 0-2-0. Um, I gotta really got- I really gotta make sure I don't leak here though. Mash will be huge. But still. Oh, I didn't get the dart to hit there. I might have placed this too. Oh, I didn't place this sub to the right enough. It doesn't hit. All right, allow me to re rewind. Back to round 20. This time for sure, right? Watch it carefully. Come on. It's still not targeting there. Like, it's only $100. I guess it's worth it, even though 100 hurts early game. Let's see this time. It is so much better. Anyway, um, I can sell this right now. This is the peak round you could sell it on, unfortunately. I think, I think if I do it this early, I still don't have the money for Monkey uh, Monkeyopolis without selling a farm, which I don't want to do. So I might I might just take the inefficient hit and wait like a couple more rounds. So the thing on extra maps is that um, uh, you see uh, draw the level so fast if we get Jerry Farm round 34. So I'm just going to do that to defend. And next round, we'll do our Monkeyopolis. And let's see. Boom, 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 boom. And range. And this was the plan. All three farms are now under the money-making range. I'll stop at this much farming, and we'll save for our defense tier 1, which is going to be... It's going to be first strike. Because Booneers are slow, you can get off multiple first strikes, such that one of them actually beats it all. And for defense, I mean, none of, look none other than Joelo's Maelstrom. And the money is, like, pretty much per perfectly there for first strike. Nice. I think we're ready to just play and just watch what happens. With a single first strike versus this guy. I'll have to also make sure while we're trying to deal with this thing. Watch out for balloons leaking. I might need multiple Jerry Fires. If I'm being honest. Because this one spins around. So it's never at the same spot. At a single time. Like there for example. I can't do that. Two. I just put a sub over here. Because it would be in range of the uh, uh, Monkeyopolis. To make extra money. And again sub Paragon later. So it will be worth. So watch this. 
This takes out one skull, and then we just do this. And there we go. And eventually, uh, it'll take a long time, but his uh, Maelstroms will refresh. And the thing is, First Strike can take out two skulls at once, which means one Maelstrom can deal with that. Which is pretty efficient. Alright, round 42 camo. I'm scared, so I'll give Camo Pot to the First Strike. So that Jerry Fire works on it. And we're just about time. Watch this. Uh, two skulls. And watch that Maelstrom go, go to work. All obliterated. It's so good. Uh, that's going to work. Wow. How in the hell did that work? If we get BRF right now, round 44, that's awesome. I will say the early game is probably going to be the most stressful before we get, like, a good tier 5 to clean up four lanes at once. Like, what is this even? Alright, first right now. And, uh... Oh, that's... That Maelstrom too late. Okay, I use it too late. Now, here? Just drop it immediately. And, uh, that'll... Oh, camo. Alright, don't mess up. I just dropped this early, right? But don't use it too early, because I think two waves is a long time. Now nah, we're good, though. We're good. Anyway, uh, I need to go for, I think, Overclock next. Overclock? Overclock good, because I said so. It's with Overclock and BRF, for, the, for those who don't know. It's a good combo. Oh, also, we're out of Maelstroms. But, trust me, it'll be back. I used it around 40, yeah, 41, so it's back now. And Fortified's gonna kill me. Glue, quickly. Do I need a Jerry Fire? Or are we good? Oh my god, I almost died. Wait, two glues, two glues. Yeah, I gotta glue this lane too. Ah, that's annoying. All right, let's glue this and this. The, the two top lanes. And do I do another Jerry Fire? Yeah. Let's do it for the top right corner. Three Jerry Fire is doing work now. Surely. We're good. And I'll just first strike. Oh my god. Actually, uh, one more glue down here. This, this round's really hard. Uh, overclock now. And uh, last first strike now. And drop the Maelstrom. And GG, right? Nice. Oh, wait. Where did that come from? Please don't die. Please don't die. We're good, right? Uh, please have enough to take that. Dude, we need every single life here. That's crazy. Just barely, but we're good. And now we can either just wait for the first strike again or do damage with the Jerry Fire. To finish off the last Diplonarius. Tier 1, done. And now we'll go for an IMF loan into Nomix. Always a good choice when it's least tiers, because it only costs, well, one tower's worth of tiers. Now I just need defense here. I think I want to go for, uh, uh, after IMF loan, let's go for a reactor. I will be perfectly fine now with uh, this reactor. And that's just, uh, yeah. First, start to clean up tier 1. And now we save. After IMF loan for, uh, the Man Essential, as you know it. Quadruple Jerry Fire this round, guys. Also, the mob comes out on lane 1. I'm not sure what to do then. The AI balloons are the deadliest, guys. I think uh, one thing you can actually use is simply use it for a strike. And watch it disappear. Although I probably can't use that for every single Moab. But overall, uh, our uh, mob damage on all the other three lanes are pretty good. It's just that one lane. Oh, this is scary. Thank you, Mana Shield. Like, that Mana Shield saved us twice over now. Just a reminder that I need I need $90,000. Because I can just do IMF loan to uh, get a quick tank like this. And there it is. Mid round 57 buy. And now we'll just spam items because uh, we'll be fine, right? I just want to over-defend so I don't have to worry too hard about these rounds here, you know? Like that. Scary. You guys are probably going to think I'm crazy for this, but yes. I'm going to go for a farm right before 2-2 comes in. So here's the plan. Since I want to get Ace Paragon, Ace Paragon, if it's ever enabled, like, it's a no-brainer. If I get Big Plane in time and overclock it... Um, I think I can solo tier 2. And we have so much farming right now, that we can probably do that. Spectre now, please and thanks. And I'll just buy the cross, cross paths too, right? Sure. 204. So I think we'll be okay here. I guess we can also use a quick 10k damage. Head start. Oh, I also keep for- Oh, I keep forgetting, guys. If you don't go bond path, they don't tell you when it's full. So I missed on a one around a bank income. Time to restart all over. Oh, also, I only need 66,000, because again, I am a flown. Come on, so close. I am a flown a bit early. I'm playing this really badly, but we got it. I'm, it might have been too late, though. I think I need to get a bit earlier, but we'll see. Also, jungle drums, jungle drums. For sure. Also, I'm not wing monkeying, because I actually want to leave this in the exit. Because the, these BFBs pop really, really late. 
So I'm just gonna do, like, reverse targeting and all that. All that fun stuff. To see if I can just keep it on the right side for uh, a majority of the time. Or at least have, like, straight line action. So something like that is good. I'm gonna try to go for Ultra Boost next. So that I could uh, juggle uh, both Big Plane and Banana Farm Money at the same time. Halfway mark. It definitely looks like the BFB is gonna be scary. Because we still have three more, and they'll be, they'll, get, they'll be even closer then. Oh, also, there's a fun little interaction with First Strike. This has splash damage. I could use it right when the BFB spawns to get a little bit of excess damage like this. Well, it was a bit late, but it could help clear, like, the final skull. So I might want to save the save the 10k damage. Uh, second last skull here. I think I would reverse targeting or not. Nah. Uh, I'm dead. Or not. <laughs> Faith in the big plane, guys. I ultra boost it now because ultra boost has shorter cooldown. So I think now with the extra damage slash attack speed, skull the last skull should be easier than the, the, than the other one, right? If not, I'll just maelstrom. You know what? One maelstrom. <laughs> nice. I'd say that was pretty clean. Big plane solo with first strike to clean up. We buy our last farm. Monkey nomics. And I'll try to buy back the NFT as well for 80k. Because it'll sell for more money. Well, later. And yeah, as you can see, we can rest easy now for the mid game to late game. At least for the AI rounds. Big plane. Solo. Also, I do want Energizer. Energizer would allow me to make sure... Like, there's zero cooldown, I think. To ultra boost two things at once if you get the cooldown reduction. Because right now, if I try to ultra boost this, I'm going to lose out on money. So I'm going to hold off. Alright, and 90k NFT... Which sells for 85 so it only needs to make eight five thousand dollars for it to be worth it oh right i forgot i should be doing this yes <laughs> redo for 2k gets me an extra 10k duh i'll use all of them oh wait wait no no i can't i forgot you can only use one per round so that was dumb so now we wait one more round to use the second one and that's 10 stacks just like that anyway uh, i think the money is there for sub paragon for a tier uh, four, three. So that's what I'm going to do. And we'll be able to afford 400k like pretty soon. Especially if I sell farms or rather this thing. This is the most expendable farm, quote unquote. I'm just $100,000 off. And I'm going to drop some more Paragon Totems so I can guarantee degree 20. At least that's what I want, I think, on these guys. Again, it's not a big deal. We can probably get this up here pretty late because any Paragon will shred tier three. Not a big deal. Also, this round. Uh, Rejuve to uh, get an Ultra Boost, and this again. I think we're fine here. In fact, we're going to get the sub paragraph right as the Skull hits. Seven stacks on the big plane, by the way. And uh, we're there. Do I take it, though? Let me just... Oh, wait. Don't die. I'll use my 1k Cash Lighter to see what happens. It's degree 10. Is that fine? Because I guess Ace Paragon solos. So maybe I don't need degree 20, right? Although, I might need one for maybe... Hang on. Is the sub even hitting those DTs? It's not. Alright. Uh, how about a glue, then, and a Jerry Fire? Not like it'll help much, but... No, no, it's huge. The glue is huge. The glue is huge. Thank you, glue, for coming in clutch. And last call. That, see, that was quick. But I also need... I want to hope right now that... Ace or Sub Paragon can solo tier 4. If it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. Oh, also... If I was really big brain and wanted more props, I should have just submerged this earlier before it died. Because we kept the NFT, we're going to have a huge cash lighter on the ace. So I'm not too worried. Also, let's start dropping totems. Bro, can we even make enough uh, money to supplement our 26k, 26k per round? I think this is one of those times where we don't drop max uh, totems because we don't have enough money. Uh, I'll just keep dropping this and see how my income does. These rounds are fast AF. If I'm looking at the math properly, we are still profiting every single round, despite needing to spend 28k. Because, again, if you didn't know, these are way more efficient than using Cash Lighter. Especially on the Ace, because, like, it's a two mil like th $2.5 million that you could max put into the Cash Lighter. Give me the money. And another Rejuve on round 95 here. Yeah, we're already up to 300k. I think we're, we're good, guys. Don't worry, I didn't forget about Final Strike. So what do you want to do with the Final Strike? I think 
is on 99. Maybe not at the start, but let's wait a little bit. Just to guarantee it goes off on the boss. So, and now? Let's see. Yeah, I waited way too, way too long. It's at 10 seconds still. Which is fine. Also, a big brain strategy you can do is use shooting turrets for intel range for the sub Aragon. So, I'll do one here. And then one back here. And let's do it. We're going to start ultra boosting the big plane again. Big plane. Let's put on Wing Monkey right now. I need that big plane damage to come in. And there we go. The final strike did... Uh, I don't know, 1 16th? A little more than that, actually. Do I do a last turret rating also for 10% 10, 10 attack speed, or does it shoot the wrong thing? Uh, either way, I'll see if that works or not. Also, holy crap, I can't leave this on last. But yeah, now it should be attacking. Beating those fortified DTs, which are more important. I'll see how the progress is. It's actually... I think as long as the sub here is targeting it, if the F bads aren't in the way, we're fine. But, of course, it's in the way of a, lo a lot of the time. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think I survive the next couple. These FTTs are too fast. I will glue later on, but still. Where's Sarbama? Uh, I couldn't fit it under the monkey nomics to make money, but I guess it doesn't really matter. A uh, dude here. Yeah, if we sell every farm, this is 210k. The money is there. I just wanted to delete as long as possible. And also, glue, glue, glue. Oh boy, is that ever needed. Ladies and gents, Sub Paragon is ass. I feel like I should just do it. Let me let me actually do one more skull. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Because I feel like it. I want 24 totems. Bad timing. Let's retry last round. Oh, I, I don't want to sell... Uh, yeah, I guess I have to sell everything. And the money is barely there. Uh, what else can I sell? There. Doomship. Max Slider. 24 totems. What degree is this? 61, and we died. Because I bought at the wrong time. Now. And Wing Monkey. I'll do Wing Monkey. I don't know. Wing Monkey. I still need to glue those ETs. I feel like I have to get it even earlier. Skip some totems. This is gonna hurt my wallet a lot, isn't it? 61. Glue. Glue, glue, glue. I still think it's too tight, guys. I don't like this. I say we sell... No, don't sell, sell this up, Aragon. But, I don't know. We die instantly, man. It's rough. There's only one skull left, though. Wait, wait. It's possible. It's possible. I think glue's OP, though, right? Please. Ah. Again, I don't want... I can't buy any more towers, because that would cost tears. <laughs> I just kind of have to hope it, it works. Until I get it right, it's going to cost a, a, a thousand monkey money every time. How about this? Watch this. Timing. Look over the aces. Turned around. No. Now? No. Okay, okay. Let's reverse targeting. Wait for it. Wait for it. Nah. That's really close, actually. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Oh, it's, it, we bricked it. We bricked it. Look, we try last round. It dies instantly. I hate this game sometimes. <laughs> Back to 100. Alright, we'll get it one round earlier, I think. Okay, 104. This is scary. I don't know if the money's there. Or the degrees are there. The money is there, though. But watch. Watch. This is not 60. Am I fine with this, though? Am I fine? Because I am stuck. I am big stuck. If I get this too late. Like, 106 is simply too late. To get the Ace Paragon. I'll, I'll, I'll take this if I survive, okay? I'll take a degree... 50, whatever. 58. Oh my god, we lived? Alright, alright. So we have to car bomb... Wait. Wait, wait for it now. Now, now. Well, it didn't even matter, because the... Uh, the ace was in the perfect spot. It was right behind. And Maelstrom, Maelstrom. Just to make sure I survive here. Ah, uh, what a nasty, nasty tier 4. Alright, so we have to hope this is enough. Otherwise, I need to make a new run or drop more towers. But this is not ideal, being two degrees off. Ace Micro might be needed if I want to survive, like, some parts here. Also, apparently tier 5 is easier than tier 4 because you don't spawn out fortified DATs. Unlike, you know, the Blueberry Skulls layer. It might just be only the f bads, which, of course, easier. Because they spawn the- man, Blueberry spawns those FDTs so far forward. So again, I'm going to try to time the uh, 15 seconds, but 
when. Let's do now. That was too bad spawned, right? Did we do this right? Three? Night. No, no, perfect. Three seconds left. So we start off with a car bomb instantly, right? Yeah. Um, wait. Wait for it to get in for real. Now. So get a little bit of that in. That did like under a million. Car bomb did double that, and some of that missed too, I think. But it's okay. The radioactive damage will hopefully do something. And I don't know. Is it worth submerging? 10% faster cooldowns on Carbomb. Bomb. But this, this means this cannot survive AI balloons or the other three lanes, because the submerged damage is pretty weak. I don't know. I feel like the like it all depends on if this thing does one tenth the damage of Ace Paragon. I think it does. In that case, it's probably not worth it. So I'm just gonna start this run without using Submerge Micro. Cause like I mostly got one extra Carbomb, Bomb, which I guess might matter, but eh. So far so good though. But I might I'm still kinda scared. I could really use that 25% extra damage. You see, it's only like three F pads, right? That spawn out. I still need the ace to be in the right spot. Oh no, you didn't. I'm dead. Wait. Wait. Okay. Alright, I think it's time to not do Wing Monkey and do Center Path. I don't know. I don't know. Also slap some maelstroms here. Here. Bad spot, bad spot. Car bomb. There's still three skulls left. I don't know. I know it's better to save Car Bomb for the uh, the insides, but I don't I want mo the most amount of damage possible for now. I'll save it at the end though. You did not just spawn that bad all the way over there, did you? Come on. Come on, Ace. Come on. What else can I do? For the the DT is glue. Wait. Nope. 1200 monkey money every single tap now. Who doesn't love it? Alright. Glue. And glue. And come on. Ace. There we go. No. Come on. Nope. Let's see. I'm gonna go under 300k at this point. Yes. First world problems. I think I'm dead. Or at least I... I just have to get good. There. There. No. Glue. Glue. Genie. Maelstrom. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Final strike now. Final strike. The residue will be huge. We also save the, uh... The car bomb for the DTs. Or whatever. You know what I mean. Wait for it. Wait for it. There's the residue. Huge. See, degree 80, 60 would have made this so much easier. But alright. Alright. Wait. Wait for it to spawn. And now. Please solo car bomb, please. It just exits in time. Wait. Wait. Spam. Don't you dare. There we go. Wow, that, that was like 0.5 seconds later. And that would have been game. Alright, but GG. We needed every little bit of power to beat this Ouch Blunarius in minimal tears. Was it worth the effort? Well, I'd say so. Because that puts us 13th place. Unfortunately, all it took was over 20,000 monkey money. Because of all those dead ends near the end. Unlucky. GG though, fun boss. I will say these kind of bosses uh, make it much harder for casual players to get into it. As fun as it is for, you know, uh, people who play a lot like me.